the outpost. A secluded one and a half acre lake nested on a 650 acre estate in Herefordshire. I found this place many years ago, looking for a lake exclusive for two anglers, and ever since my first visit, I've been coming back every year. Sam and the owner is always really friendly and always willing to help. The venue he's created is a real gem, a mature tree-lined lake with plenty of stock to excess of £30. The deep margins aid epic battles and there are plenty of features from snags to lily pads and this is all surrounded by serene countryside, plus a massive bonus of a cabin and a shower. I fish most seasons from cool springs, red hot summers and sub-zero winters and have always managed to get a few fish. Now it's time to try autumn. I like to add plenty of liquid to my baits, so before I set off, I preset my boilie the night before. Never forget the liquids. And it is a social, so don't forget the liquids too. We booked a three night trip, and first port of call was to have a look around and see if we could find the fish. As the autumn leaves rained down, we began to prepare our spots, deciding on a boily only approach. Bait Guru Salamina Mark II with the matching liquid food to give it that extra pulling power. Spinner eggs over the top with essential fruit and Salamina pop ups. Easy. Who knew that carp actually liked a good old sneeze? <laughs> it was great to get the first fish. Only a small stocky, but a great sign of things to come. The first afternoon produced multiple bites to around 10 fish to mid-double. Now it's time to settle down for a beer and a barbecue. As the light slowly faded, the local residents came out to play, and as we watched the abundance of wildlife, we waited in anticipation to see what the night would bring. It was a great night, with a few fish, my best being this long common, which gave me a hell of a scrap but it was the early hours of the morning where Jamie Spots burst into life, landing two stunning comments to over 20 pounds, one being a new PB. Happy days. We put the kettle on, had a brew and wait for first light, getting organized and getting ready for some good pictures. Oh, and of course, a standard soaking. I was looking forward to that. As the morning drawn, I decided to go for a walk. I found loads of the fish sitting at the top of the lake, really tight on the snags. I baited just off the snags and left it for about an hour. Cast a single solid bag with an essential fruit wafter, and then within minutes it was away. And again, the afternoon produced plenty of steady bites. It was really, really good sport.
All of countryside cabins lakes has a boat. These prove vital if fish get stuck in weed or snags. Plus, if you really need the practice rowing. You are lad. <laughs> I think you need to practice your rowing. I think you need to practice your rowing, mate. The cabin's got a barbecue area, it's got gas and coal, it's got outdoor seating, tables, really nice when you're sitting in the sunshine. Inside the cabin, it's got a nice kitchen area, bed, fantastic decor, sofa, the kitchen's great, big TV, and also a fridge and a freezer. What more could you want? Also next to the cabin, you've got a really nice little shower and toilet. On the final evening, the wind changed and the temperatures really dropped, bringing a real chill to the air. The bite slowed, but I still managed one fish in the evening. After an absolutely freezing night, the last morning was quite the spectacle, with the rolling mist coming off the water. As we began to pack our things for home, I noticed a couple of shows. It was time for one last cast, wishing for one last chance. <laughs>